<laughs> what? 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 I'm, I'm sick, dog. I know you're sick. I know so you're I just want to make sure you know. You're spraying, is that like Purell or what? Yeah, you know what? But don't you hate it when people are sick and they still embrace you? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I can't so stand So you can't that. do it. You don't want to so make I, any of us sick. I don't want to get thoughtful. anybody <laughs> sick. That's right. Thank you very much, Jamie. I, uh, I appreciate that, buddy. Thank you very much. But, but you guys make me feel good. The roots, you yeah. guys make me Come feel good. Come on. Got... <laughs> <laughs> Dude, come on. You can't walk out and just hit, hit, hit a pose. And yeah. just, okay, hit yeah, a pose you know, got to hit the pose. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got, I got my LeBron James uh, beard and my gray, you know. Yeah, you did, yeah. You're looking good. Oh, come on. You're looking, oh. <laughs> you just made your face look like him. Uh, I like Let's that, go, man. Let's go, bro. Uh, I... I, I want to tell you, we were just talking about the uh, the, the wildfires in California. Oh, I know God. it's hitting you uh, pretty close to home, too. But man, listen, I, I, you, by not being there, you can't really recognize how really terrifying and devastating it is. I mean, Malibu is almost gone, yeah. and uh, people are losing everything. So please, just, if you see any place where you can give money or, or just prayers and good energy, and especially to all of the, the first responders, like a lot of those people, that's in my neighborhood. So a lot of like Whistling Pete, who comes by all the time with his, with his uh, fire truck and hangs out with the kids. These guys are working like you know 48 hours uh, with no breaks. And like I said, people are losing everything. I had to, we had to evacuate my house, but luckily like my you know my family was okay and and, and our house was spared. Safe. But everybody else, Gerard Butler, I mean you know Robert Thicke, and and elders, not just celebrities. I mean people in communities. So just you know. Yeah, um, give real. me good energy, man. Yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry but it, no, it's that's really, I just I wanted yeah. to bring it up because I was just there and it's real. Yeah. And, Terrible. And, 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 and also too, also too, I got to say this too. Um, I live in Thousand Oaks, oh. and those people, I mean, you know, those children, these kids, man. And, and I know we, a, a lot of times we, we're afraid to speak out on things because of you never know who may be affiliated with what. But all I can tell you is that to hear in the fourth safest place. In the world, something tragic like that happens. So we have to, we have to voice because, like I said, those are our kids, you know, and, and our family. And that police officer, I mean, we see that guy every time we we, we go uh, right off of Hampshire and Thousand Oaks, and he, you know, he, he's a hero. So please give your prayers for that. I got to take this time, and also this coming into the new year, look for the good in people, man. I feel like sometimes we're in such a looking for bad and so look for the good in people. Yeah, that's really good. So, uh, that's right. Good to see you. Wow. That. Please, I'm, right? I'm thankful that you're saying that. Yeah, Thank man. Thank you so much. Because so, it, it, every time you come on our show, you, you make people laugh, you yeah. entertain, and you bring, out, you bring the good to people. So yeah. uh, thank you for bringing so that as, up. As much, as much, oh, man, it's tough. Uh, anyway. Well, we, have to, we have things to talk about. I want to talk about uh, your, your film as well. But... Uh, I, you're just such a talented guy. I was saying to Higgins yesterday, I mean, or just before the show, I, I, you can sing, you can, you can, uh, I mean, you won Grammys. Yeah. I mean, you could sing. I mean, you got, I mean, you could, you could. Mel, Mel, Mel Exotic. What's that? Mel Exotic. Mel Exotic, yeah, yeah absolutely. I do, that, yeah. I do that as well. <laughs> <laughs> but you, a lot of times people leave that off. Yeah, know? they do leave that off. It's magic in No, but you could do any genre, any voice, any band, any group. I've seen you. There's magic in these hips of mine. <laughs> oh, anyway. <laughs> you must be a fun dude to go do karaoke with. Oh, man. Hey, come on now. You, yeah, yeah. I mean, do you do Karyo it? Y'all karaoke? karaoke? Come on now. Yeah. 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 What, what's your, what, what's your go-to? Like, uh, what do you do? I'm like, what's my go-to? Or what's your Wow, play? Poison. Uh, <laughs> like the band Poison? <laughs> nah, man. <laughs> I need a body of that. All right, all right, all right. Is that Doomy? Is that Poison? Or is that... That's Poison. That was Doomy. I was Doomy. Oh, I was Doomy? Like, I was doing Doomy. Yeah. But it's... Oh, Doomy. Yeah, can... right, right, right. Yeah. This. Is that Bell uh, Bit the Take one look at me. <laughs> take a look at like what you see. <laughs> do you yeah. think you can <laughs> Do you think you can Anyway, 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 anyway. 
the same yeah, song. Same song. Same song. Same song. song. Same song. Yeah, 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 same <laughs> song. They got two checks on that. <laughs> On the Can't production. Get, uh, you ever, I heard you used to have like these raging like karaoke parties, like yeah, yeah, and, sure. And celebrities would just walk in to show up. I, I, I remember, I remember we had the celebrity. Speaking of Velvet Rope, we had I, I used to do a, 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 a karaoke back in the day, and everybody would come. I had uh, Hugh Hefner would show up. Uh, I wow. had NSYNC singing uh, Backstreet Boy songs and vice versa. <laughs> and uh, but the one night that was crazy, Whitney Houston. And Bobby Brown show up to my karaoke, bro. And this was when she was like a female R&B singer of the millennial or what millennium or yeah. whatever. And so, you know, me and Bobby get up and we're singing Don't Be Cruel. And he forgets the words. And I said, well, the word, they're, right, they're right there on the <laughs> It's karaoke. That's, yeah, that's the whole point of karaoke. Yeah, yeah. And then as I'm, going, as, as I'm going to the bathroom, I hear, now y'all know I don't sing this for anybody. I get a million dollars to sing this. And Whitney Houston got up and sung and it which, was great, and she sung. Um, which one? Uh, uh, everybody had. We didn't have. We didn't have a social media at that time, so people just called her answer machines. That's how long ago it was. <laughs> so they just had the phone up, and she said, "And I wow. will always love you," and just kill, right? You know what? Yes, but here's, but but here's the thing. So I filmed that. You know, I had that on my, that was camcorder. Back, you know, <laughs> big, had a light, you know, had, the, shoulder, had an extra shoulder bag, hurting, yeah. shoulder bag, you know. Yeah, yeah thing on your head, you, you know what I'm saying? I had a, yeah, a um, microphone. Yeah, I'm yeah. holding another box there <laughs> you know behind saying? you. Yeah. Go, we're, I got to do it with a light. Jamie, we got yeah. <laughs> so anyway, I film it, and then later on that night, I'm at the crib, we having a little after spot, like 3 or 4 in the morning, I hear this at my door. That means somebody must have jumped my gate. I just hear this, and it's Bobby Brown. And Bobby Brown was like, yo, I got to get that tape. I said, oh, I don't, I don't have the tape here. He said, well, I got to take something. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I man. was like, that's weird as hell. I don't know what that means. But he, just, but he just busted my house, and he goes into my closet and starts t picking out clothes and, like, putting out clothes and stuff. I was like, oh, this is crazy. Bobby Brown is taking clothes out of my closet. And then this little girl came in, and she said, oh, my God, Bobby. Oh my God, I loved you. I recorded you guys tonight. He said, Really? Uh, let me hear it. She said, Oh, I didn't get you. I only got Whitney. And uh, that didn't go over too well. No. <laughs> that didn't go over too well, right? Oh, no. So, so I, after I calmed Bobby down, I said, Bobby, just calm down. Just get more clothes. So he got the clothes <laughs> and he left. <laughs> what? Bobby Brown left the clothes. And then about eight weeks later, I look on People Magazine and it says, Clothes. It was Bobby Brown and Whitney Houston on the magazine. Said clothes by Dosha Gabbana. I said no, it ain't. That's my. <laughs> <laughs> clothes by Jamie Foxx. Clothes by Jamie Foxx. By Jamie Foxx. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, do you do you still have the tape? He Is... knows. He knows. Yeah, I still got the tape. I still got the tape. I put it in my safe deposit box. Bobby, that's old school, right? Yeah, you can't exactly. That's old school right there. Do you ever freak out, like a flip out? Like, I mean, because that sounds like a crazy story to me. But has there ever been an artist where you're like, I, 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 I can't talk? Oh, Prince. When I first saw Prince, yeah, when I first saw Prince. It's true, cause, cause they know the real musicianship. I mean, when I was growing up with Prince, you know, growing up listening to Prince, my grandmother thought, first of all, my grandmother thought the Prince, it was devil music for whatever reason. <laughs> cause you know, it's a, sort of suggestive, sexy, yeah, 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 success, yeah. It's successy. Um, <laughs> it's, new por it's porcelains, that's what these are. Uh, <laughs> it's these Denzels I got. <laughs> All right, all right, okay, all, all right. right, all right, now. All right. Okay. All right. okay, so you like Prince, huh? So you like Prince, so you like Prince? All right, you like Prince. <laughs> you like Prince, okay. all right, so all you right. like Prince. Oh, my God. Oh, man, that's a good man. No, but when I... <laughs> I saw Prince 1998. December 31st. Wow. Where were you? Why is that significant? That's New Year's. Because it was about to be 1999. No! Yeah, saw me in Las Vegas. And, and I cried a little bit. Me too. I might cry now. Yeah, but you... I wasn't even there. <laughs> yeah, but you know how some... I used to look at people cry. I said, I really felt a little like, oh, man, hey, I really love yourself, man. <laughs> That's how you talk to Prince? Yeah, I was like, man. And then I asked him for... You know, and of course, his voice was, you know, 
Just extra sexy, but I don't know why. I, like, I love your stuff. Like, oh, thank you so much. I was like, that's hella extra sexy, right? That really is his voice. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> and anyway, I asked, him to, I asked him to take a picture, and I couldn't get the picture because he believed that it was, I don't know, some spiritual thing. I don't know. But, la but later that night, later that night, uh, the time was playing. Morris the, Day? Morris Day and the time were playing. And uh, man, Fine. they were playing, kicking it. They were doing a cool. And uh, Morris goes, and now I'm going to bring this fella out here. He ain't going to sing, and he's just going to play. And he came out like in a, in a feather. He just came out in all purple feathers and some, like, uh, stretch pants with an incredible, like, purple guitar and killed it. Yeah. Yeah, And yeah. then just kind of, doesn't he, he just, like, vanishes. He, dis he disappears. He disappears. Yeah, that's he does. what he does. He's a magician. He and he was gone. Yeah. <laughs> and he poofs, and he's yeah. gone. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. I love hearing those stories. Thanks for telling me that. Now, uh, now didn't you play ping pong with him or something? I heard. <laughs> Which is that's odd, right? But yeah, he, he was playing ping pong. It's the weirdest with... story ever. It's long. I'll tell you the whole story. But what, I got a call. I got a text. I was at dinner and said, Prince wants to play ping pong with you. <laughs> what the hell? So I went, I, yeah. So I go, I got to go, dude. Prince wants to play ping pong with you. So I, <laughs> so I, went, I went to this place, Spin, in, in Manhattan. OK, OK, got And it. I went down the thing. I go, hey, is there a, and she goes, Prince? I go, yeah. She goes, yeah, he's in that room where he's waiting for you. I go. I he does it. He does I didn't even play ping pong. Yeah. I don't know what I don't know what his obsession is. He wanted to play ping pong with me or whatever. So I walk in and he's standing there in the in the crushed blue velvet suit, double breast, and he goes, You ready to do this? <laughs> go, oh my god. So dude, we play ping pong and was, he's he's great. He killed yeah. me. He... In the boots. In the in... boots, that was just his boots doing. <laughs> and then he was then he was over hitting the ping pong. <laughs> so it was like double time. <laughs> <laughs> We're hitting the thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, and then... Uh, he, How'd it go? He... <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, so then he, he, he's, he's 20 to 10 or something, and he goes, game point. <laughs> and he hits the ball, and he goes... And it goes... <laughs> and spinning. Flames are coming off. It's like the perfect ping pong. Yeah, yeah. And hits the corner of the table. You know, it's impossible yeah, to hit back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes somewhere else. He goes, oh, my God. He goes, uh, he goes, you won. And I'm looking around. I go to pick up the ping pong ball. And I, go, I find the ball. I go, uh, are you one? Prince? <laughs> Prince? <laughs> Gone. Gone. <laughs> Gone. That's I, crazy. I left. Gone. It's like it never happened. Like That's he, crazy. Like I didn't play. But then I saw Quest of Outside because I, yeah. I told you about it. You heard about that. I was playing ping pong. And, and then I rolled up to him in Grey Poupon style. I was like, what happened? And he rolled down. He was like, ask your boy. <laughs> <laughs> ask your boy. Uh, let's, talk, let's talk about Robin Hood, please. Uh, uh, Thanksgiving weekend, Robin Hood comes out. And this is good. I got to say, the action scenes in this, oh, man. fantastic. Thanks, thank you. Well, it, it's a different take. This is a different take on Robin Hood. It was actually called Hood at first. It, and that's true. I know you're laughing. Because cause there's a brother in it, but yeah, it was. <laughs> but, but, and I'm serious. I know, if I know. you check the history, it was actually called Hood. Hood. So it's nothing like the Robin Hood you think. It ain't no tights, nothing like that. We, we going off in there, so make you sure. You don't wear tights. I, no, I don't wear. I have on tights now, but we don't. No, I don't wear tights. They're bummed out a little bit, yeah. I mean... No, I don't, no, I can't. Not with these calves. <laughs> Cause you know brothers don't have. I don't. I don't. Our brothers don't have. I don't. I don't do cat. I don't do legs. <laughs> you know, brothers just. I just. You know, bench press. You know. <laughs> you, you were. Yeah, I, I'm, I've never seen brothers doing legs in the gym. It's all. You know. And then. And then the, it's like jailhouse bill. Yeah, no, I'm not. Then the like, white dude. Yeah, yeah, the white dude. White dude. <laughs> like, you doing that? You know what I'm saying? I'd be like, man, I ain't doing all that. <laughs> I, I have, I have, my, my legs are so tiny, I don't even wear short, I wear shants. <laughs> you know, like, there's, they come all the way down to here, the pan, and then there's socks, and then just a little bit of meat. <laughs> a little bit of meat, I have on shants. Shants. Because I don't have calf muscles. It's like I could beat you up, but I can't chase you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You take off, I'm like, oh, uh, I'll catch him. Uh, 
you and uh, Taryn uh, Edgerton, yes. who is, man, oh, man, this is a talented guy. Last time yeah. he was on the show, uh, remember, we, uh, made, I made him sing. Yeah, yeah, he's and amazing. he's got a beautiful voice, yeah, man. man. He's a talented kid. He's incredible, and, and that's what's great about this. It's a new, fresh take on it. Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio is producer on it. Uh, Otto Bathurst is director. So thanks, even, man. Y'all come, please, check it's it out. It's a family a movie, but family. it's got some action. Yeah. It's for everybody. I want to show a clip. Here's Jamie Foxx and Taryn Edgerton in Robin Hood. Take a look at this. I can fire two arrows a second. Yeah, you could fire two arrows a second. You think you're faster? Shoot me. Beg your pardon? You've killed hundreds of us. What's one more? OK. Please. I said shoot me. Too slow. You can. Again. Come on, English. Okay. Too slow. Yeah! Jamie Foxx, everybody! Uh-huh. So on and on and on. Uh, I said... And it's on and on and on.